Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today I'm going to show you two different ways to do scrolling screenshots on your iOS devices. And it's going to be one way for websites and another way for apps. So let's jump into it. I'll show you what they are. And here we go. All right, I'm gonna show you the first way, which is using a website and then taking a full screen or full page screenshot. This way is kind of cool. It's built into the iOS operating system, so it's very easy to do. And right here in my phone here, we'll just go to the web browser, and this is my photo website here. And we can see that we have a uh, just my home screen right there. And if I go into something like the zoo animals, we can click on there and see that there's going to be a page. The page is just going to scroll down a, a bit because I have a bunch of different photos in there. So let's go ahead and take a screenshot. And I'm going to go ahead and click screenshot right there. And now when I click on that screenshot, it's going to give me the option of just having the one screen or I can have the full page. So I'm going to go ahead and click where it says full page. And now you'll see here, I can scroll down and it's going to show me that whole page. It's going to give me one long screenshot of that whole page right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click done. I'm going to save this and you're going to see it's going to say save PDF to files. This is not going to save it right to your gallery app. It's going to save it to your files app, which I, it's a little disappointing to me, but it is what it is. So there you have it. That's the first way how to do it. And let me go ahead and show you the second way if you're using apps, because if you're using an app, you don't have the option of doing that full page screenshot. You're going to need a different separate app in order to do that. All right. So now let's say that you want to take a scrolling screenshot of an app. So let's say that you're in Amazon or Instagram or something like that, and you want to show the entire page, but you can't do it because you don't have that option in the operating system, but you can get an app to do it. And let's jump in and we're going to go ahead to the app store right here. And this is the app that I like to use. It's called screenshot stitch, a uh, long photo collage. And this is by Blaylock consulting group. So this is the one that I like to use. It's free. There's ads in there. You can pay to remove the ads, but this is the one that I like to use. All right, let me show you quickly how it works. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to go to Amazon right quick. And let's say that I want to go ahead and I want to show, I want to go here to this page right there. And let's say I just want to check on that, that phone case for speaking. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot and right there. Now check the bottom of the page and you want to make sure that you have a little bit of overlapping and I'm just going to go about to right there and I'm going to take another screenshot and I'm going to go right there. And now I'm going to scroll up again into just about right there above where add cart is. I'm going to click that right there. And those three are good enough. They're all overlapping. And now what I want to do is I want to go back over to the screenshot stitch app. And we're going to see those three screenshots that I just took right there. I'm going to select one, two, three in the order that I actually took the screenshots. And then I'm going to go ahead and click auto stitch. And it's going to start working and we can see right there, it's going to then start stitching those out. I'm going to go ahead and click export and I'm going to hit save image. And there we go. Now I'm going to come back over and go to my gallery. I'm going to click that. And there we have the, there we have the screenshot right there. Now you may notice that 1599 is cut off a little bit. And if you find that some stuff like this right here, you can see that's cut off again too. If you find stuff is cut off, then you can actually go in here and you can manually stitch. So let me go back over and uh, let me go back over to this and I'm going to select one, two and three and you can hit manual stitch and you can actually adjust these so that you get these the exact way that you want them. So let me see if I can get these things lined up properly. You can go here, you can see, oop, and you can, it may be a little bit tough to get them going, but you can, you can manually stitch them. And sometimes what I would really recommend is instead of wasting time trying to manually stitch them, just go back, do another set of screenshots and just sort of make sure that there, uh, you have a little bit more overlapping, um, you know, a little bit more overlap on your screenshots and then go in and do an auto stitch so that it lines up a bit better. But that's how you can do a scrolling screenshot 
or two ways to do a scrolling screenshot on your iPhone. All right, everyone, so there you have it. Those are two ways that you can do a scrolling screenshot on your iPhone. And one is needing an app, the other one is built into the operating system. I really wish that they allowed you to do scrolling screenshots the same way they do it in on Android devices. It's built into the operating system. You can do it on pretty much any app or website. It works the same for both. It's very smooth, very elegant the way they do it on Android. I wish they would bring that feature or something similar over to iOS so that you can get the same sort of functionality. But anyways, there you have it. I'm going to leave links to, well, my Amazon page and my social media contacts down below so you can see the other products and services that I reviewed over time. And you can reach out and say hello or ask any questions if you have any. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.